groceries and hokas. Maybe a closer look at my shoes. Yes, I filmed this earlier in the day because I didn't want this to be the first clip of my vlog. Look at this. Oh, oh, okay. Look at how gorgeous these are. These are beautiful. Like, I was trying to figure out where to go to get to like which, like which shoe I should pick up. And Casey was like, all right, well, which one automatically are you drawn to? Just like in general of all the shoes. And I said, this one. So I tried them on and they were brilliant. But now we're in the testing phase. All right, I went and got my bangs trimmed. I don't think I had her go too short. So I think we're looking good. Cause even if I go straight, it's like in my eyes still a little. So I think that, I think that needs to be the determining factor. Because whenever I think they're too short, I just make them straight until they're not. But these are still like straight in my eyes. Ooh, ooh, I think we found a way to tell. I need to like wet them down and redry them because once you mess with them enough, they stop falling correctly. But I think we're good. So things I just did, went to Goodwill, got some stuff, I'll show you in a second. Went to Great Clips, got my bangs cut. They're still looking okay. Went to my coffee bookshop, got some stuff, I'll show you in a second. And stopped at Kohl's to do a return and got some stuff. One thing, I'll show you in a second. At coffee shop, I got a coffee. And then I got this book, Me and Earl on the Dying Girl. And it was a used book and it was YA. So it was only like three bucks because it was a dollar off. Booyah. Then at Kohl's, I did a return and got this. A tank top, which is all just really very exciting. And at Goodwill, I got these two plates, which they're like a very like gray purple color. You can't tell on the camera, but I really like them. So I got them. I got this, which is very random, but very cool. I'm gonna take the tape off, obviously, and try and clean it up and maybe paint over this and see what happens. Then I got a book because I had an art idea where I take an old book, just tear out a random page, and then try and make like art out of it. So like going over in Sharpie, everything that doesn't matter, and like just leaving like, like say it was like three words, like, he loved her, you know, something like that, you know, something like that. So, The Glory of Polygamy? What is this book? Mainstream of America, Men to Match My Mountains? I am so confused by this. The Comstock has many troubles as it has prospectors. This has some weird titles here. Only Force Can Settle the Mormon Problem. What is this about? I need to figure this out. And then I got another tank top. I don't wear tank tops, everybody. I don't. My thought process is maybe I can get some tank tops and wear them under like an open like button up. That's the thought process. Tank top number one, the Goodwill tank top, is actually killing it. Look at this. This is actually kind of cute. She's killing it. Okay. Tank top number two, for some reason, not as good. I don't know. I think maybe it's just because it's black on black on black that I'm feeling like it's not that good. But really, this is the idea of tank top number two, just to put under a button up because that way my my boobies aren't out all the time. That's fine. Right? I need jeans. I need jeans. That's just... I need something other than just black on black on black. <sighs> I also got thread at Michael's earlier, so I got purples to finish my jacket and then I just really like these colors okay upon googling it seems like this is a book about the west and it becoming an America which makes sense so it's like people who came and developed the west which is why they talked about polygamy because you know what's his name Joseph Smith and Utah was a big deal I guess it also talks about California and a whole bunch of other things. It's all about the West, basically. I tore out a random page, but I didn't exactly do the best job, so I might do another one, but <laughs> I don't know. All right, I think I need to find a different size marky, marky, sharpie, but I'm, I love this. They assembled volunteers, Indian, troops, the friendly, spectators, elders, community, whores, young, come to the relief of a people oppressed and downtrodden. Celebrate, let them alone. I am obsessed. I'm in love with doing this, everybody. As you could see, I did thinner lines for this one and I'm not sure which one I prefer more, 
but so far, so good. Pretty girls without a voice sustain more, but at half the cost, and could do no better than abandoned, unsettled, and too formidable. <sighs> <laughs> we did a little change of the gallery wall. I took the thing down that was right there. The savannah used to be there. I took the savannah down, moved it over there, put that new boy here, and then I was like, there's a weird space, and I was like, I bet I have something. I did. Booyah. It still feels a little empty over here, so I needed like a thin point, but... We're looking good. I'm telling everyone, once I lose weight in my arms, it's over for you bitches, because that is the most self-conscious part of me. Otherwise, look at this, she's hot. So once I lose weight in my arms, or get comfortable with the weight in my arms, it is over. I came outside to clean my car, but I think I'm just gonna walk up and down this parking lot a little bit to get some steps in and test out my shoes and to get some sun. Okay, I did another. This one is not nearly as good. And I left the page title on there. An era ends, a new story begins. Better than he had been. He was under him on an efficient basis. He stood gazing at the oil portrait of him. He is home. Baby, I give you all that I have. Telegrams and letters of roses. It was the last time. The abandoned house broken. Baby. He never left. He became a ghost wandering about the ghost town. I don't know. It's not as good. I guess it's too warm for stickies now. Because this just fell off and I think it broke and I, I don't I don't even want to touch it. Oh my god. I don't think it's in there secure. It's not in there securely. Okay. Never mind. I don't know how to get like this back in. Like obviously it like goes in and like pokes into the wood. I don't know how to get it back on this side. Honestly, I can't deal with it right now. I'm just gonna leave it there. This little guy has been here since I lived. Oh, well, that's good. Since I lived here, damn. I don't know why my cookies ended up like rounded. They usually flatten out, but they roundy today, baby. Also, doing dishes. I totally forgot that Walmart had like delivered part of my order to me today. So I was like, oh shit, I better go get that. It's just Alka-Seltzers because I ran out in the places that I keep Alka-Seltzers. A tiny bit of the wall in this color. This angel keeps disappearing and reappearing and honestly it's concerning. Casey. I put up a pride flag. I saw. I saw on your uh Instagram story. Gay. You can call me anything you want. Fire. Did you open it and it was like <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm obsessed. I found this new website, Miro, and I'm using it to do different things in my book. So this is like the outline of my book. I am obsessed with how this looks. So we have the act one, act two, act three. I have like halfway point listed there. All right, you see like these are all yellow except for these. These are questions where I'm like, do I need that? How am I doing that? What's the question? Etc. This little circle says you are here because that's where I am in the writing. This is like a piece of dialogue that I was like, oh, that would be a good dialogue here. So I just put it in that section. I am obsessed. Like this makes me so happy. Another fun section, um, characters, and then who they relate to. So booyah. Life is so silly because I want to stay up and like work on things but i also want to like get up at a reasonable time tomorrow and not like waste the day away so i can't stay up that late if i want to get up at a nice time i don't know it's almost midnight though so let's go to bed me i'm gonna do all the worky like cleany things on like saturday or sunday so that way on monday i can just relax also me today makes like a 20 thing to do list i feel like it's hard for me to read in the morning i don't know my brain just like doesn't there's too much going on in the world 
and my brain just doesn't want to read in the morning. I just opened these blinds and I realized that this plant is crispy. So I just like put a bunch of water in there and I'm gonna hope that she's okay because she's been thriving and I'm gonna be really sad if I killed her. Oh my God, I am the worst plant parent, except for this guy. He just keeps dying and thriving. So in normal fashion, half of my list I finished by 10 o'clock and it is now 10.15. Another few things on my list are going to take like maybe five minutes each. I just have to time it out so it like makes sense. The fan is loud. I'll come in here. And then the big one that I've been putting off is cleaning my bathtub. But really, it's literally going to take like 15 minutes. Like that's probably going to be it. So that'll happen soon. See, the thing is with cleaning the bathtub is I should try and do it better than I do. But like it's literally fine. That's just like, there, those marks, that's just, they just live there. I got a new mat, I'll put it down. But yeah, look at, like, it's fine. Life is so strange, or my brain is so strange, really, because I've been so productive today. Like, I've gotten so much stuff done. And usually, that's amazing for me. Like, mm, makes me want to live. Today, not giving it to me, not doing it. I'm just like, I'm like waiting for something to happen. Like, that's what it feels like. I just feel like I'm keeping myself busy until something happens. I am going to John and Casey's later, but, and I, I don't know when that is. So, like, that could be a contributing factor, but it doesn't seem relevant. I don't fucking know. Everybody, I am completely caught up with the vlogs. Last week's video has just been edited and is uploading now. It will go live on Wednesday. And then the next video to edit is this one. This one! What? I'm just going for a walk in this parking lot again to get sun and to test out the shoes. Maybe I should be walking on something other than cement for the shoes. I don't know. There's a lot of cars in the parking lot. So there must be something going on over here today. Maybe I shouldn't walk repeatedly back and forth amongst these cars. <laughs> but I'll walk to those trees and turn around. The two times I've gone to walk on this trail, I've ended up anxious each time. So... I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna walk to here, and once the bike comes by, I will walk the other way. Also, yes, I am testing these shoes today, but I'm testing them with short socks. Normally, I feel like I need to wear long socks with shoes. This feels like it should be a basketball court, but it is not. I want to like these shoes so much. But I just don't know if I do, like, I think my feet are still hurting. I don't know if, like, I have them tied too tight or what. I don't know. So I was just walking around in the parking lot, and as I was coming back down towards my apartment, a car was going the opposite way. Now that's a dead end. So either they don't know where they're going, or they're going to whatever everybody else is going to down there. Okay? They're driving kind of slow. And all of that makes sense. So I walk back down. I'm, like, making loops in, like the little parking lot section near my apartment and the car comes back going very slowly which like again it is a dead end they need to turn around if they're in the wrong spot but they're going super slow so I'm like watching them and they stop like adjacent to me or they're going even slower adjacent to me like all the way at the other end of the parking lot and I'm like I don't like that so then I start I make a quick turn towards my apartment to like come inside and that car turns and come and like starts driving down to where I am standing and I said nope <laughs> and I came inside <laughs> and the car came all the way down to where I was standing and then slowly continued to circle the parking lot so could be totally innocent whatever they're looking for or doing I didn't want to take that chance. So we're back inside. So side note, I have this swimsuit that I got when I lived in Savannah. Too small, still a little too small, but as you can see, it's like purple, purple, cut out on the side, but the other side is too much for me. We're not there. However, we might be here. Well, let's take off the shirt and the bra and then see where we're at actually. Although might I say, this is a look. 
Okay, so still not totally it. Like, I'm going to fall out of this any second. But she's kind of cute. Look at that. That's all right. You know what, though? If I get real cool about some stuff in the next, like, couple weeks, this could actually be, like, a fun thing to wear to pride. Like, the top, because I'm asexual. Like, this purple, black. This could actually be something cool. And if I'm not super cool, I could still wear, like, the bra and the yellow underneath this. We might have a pride outfit, everybody. Because also the yellow, the purple, and the black is non-binary. Okay. Okay. Even Bug wants to go outside. That's how nice it is outside. Right, Bug? Um, this pot is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, that's huge. You've been in my top three this whole time. I'm really sad we have not had more. <laughs> Yeah, look at these seahorses. It is sunny and it is raining. I just really want to stay outside in the rain, honestly. There is like a line. Why? Cars are turning around. I can't turn around. This is the way to my house. Didn't sit there too long. It probably was just like a train, but people are really freaking impatient if they were just turning around because of a train. Why is this like this? Why? Why are you just full of water and beaten to death? I am so confused. So ideally, I would like to finish this book in May. However, I still have half a book left. So, and I have the rest of today and tomorrow to do that. So we're going to see. We're going to try. I'm going to sit down and read for a little bit and go from there. All right. I have about a hundred or so pages left. I read over a hundred pages today, so like I could finish it tomorrow. Right now I should put something in my body other than gummy worms and chips. I have a headache, I need to take an ibuprofen and then eat like some carrots. I think that would be good for me. Before I have cookies and ice cream. <laughs> I might read more later, but right now I need this to stop. Because I would like to finish this. Not today, but tomorrow. That would mean that I finished four books in the last 10 days of the month which means that I can do anything I put my mind to <laughs> honestly all right this is you can't really tell this is how much I have left so I did read a lot today um hopefully I finish it tomorrow it is legitimately still so bright outside but I am so tired I need to get ready for bed it's also after nine o'clock so it's not like I'm like going to bed at a crazy early hour. It is 9.03. See, like, look at how bright it's, okay, let me put this down. Look at how bright it's, like, and this is too dark. But I was, I'm giving you the best shot here. This is just, let's see if I can make it look like what it looks like in here. Okay, that's all the way. Bloop. Maybe like that. Oh my God. All right, so I have roughly 50 pages left. Let's finish this thing. Oh, also, I would like to finish it by 6, and it's currently 5.07, so let's see. I am warm, and so standing in front of the fan, but I would just like everybody to know that I finished reading the acknowledgments page at 6.02. Booyah, baby! So I've been doing much better at not thinking that the day is over once I get home from work. Like, it used to be like, oh, it's 5 o'clock no more day in the day when that's not true i'm doing much better at that especially with the sun um but i am not doing much better at thinking that the day continues after eight o'clock like once it hits eight o'clock i'm like well it's eight o'clock like it's almost bedtime it's not it's literally not i have a job interview tomorrow that was random i have a job interview tomorrow morning it's at 9 25 i think I'll get there at 9.15 anyway. I'm nervous. I should probably go over some of the stuff for that. 
I'm gonna eat ice cream while I watch Pretty Some Pretty Little Liars and then go over that stuff. So I'm not going into work until like 11, but whenever I'm done with the interview, but I won't have to leave here for the interview. I'll probably leave like 8.30, which is an hour and a half after I would normally leave in the day. So I could probably sleep in a little. I really want this one. We'll see, hope it goes well. Ah! So remember when I put all of my hard work into this bad boy? And then I haven't written on it since May 5th, probably even May 4th, honestly. Yeah, this obviously did nothing for me. What is this, you may ask? Well, this is the book I wrote a long time ago. I had the idea for this book in third grade, fourth grade, one of the two. Um, and then I wrote a good chunk of it and then found it again and finished it in high school. It is not good. That's all I remember. I remember general plot. I remember there being twins, multiple twins, many twins, and prophecies, and spacey people, <laughs> and villains and good people, aka good and evil. Um, it's actually 130 pages. I didn't print it all out. I printed out like the first 40 pages, I think. <laughs> it's 130 pages. I've written a book before. I could do it again. Uh, I'm going to be going through this on TikTok, both on my TikTok, my personal TikTok, and then I created a new TikTok for the bookie things. Um, so I'm going to be going through this on TikTok. So join me there if you would like to hear more about this. I'm sure you will hear more about it here, but you know. For the full range. Okay, so I told myself that I wasn't going to read any of it until I was filming myself on TikTok. <laughs> but I just had to do a little, little flip. <laughs> and I'm hilarious, alright? <laughs> Finally, I yelled. I was being let out of prison. I'd been in that joint for five years now. So I had planned to take over the world. Who cares? The world would have been a better place if I ruled it. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Good morning. My AC is on because it was really hot in here this morning, but my AC is really loud. They're going to look at it later, but I think it's just normal volume. All right. Anyway, it is a little after 7 o'clock. I am still at home because I have that interview today. I need to leave around 8.30. I think I can leave after that, but just so I know, 8.30. I need to be ready by 8.30. And I'm debating what to do. I just made coffee. I don't know if I'm going to work on my book outside or take a book outside and drink my coffee. I think I'll take a book outside. I want to try and read queer related books this month. Not that that's any different from any normal month, but I would like to at least like try and focus on that this month, I guess. I think this is going to be it. I'm in a reading mood right now. Because this is daunting. That's why I haven't read it yet. Because it's so daunting. But I'm in a reading mood, so maybe let's give it a go, eh? Look at the sky. The sky is so pretty today. So we know that whatever water fell on these, like, totally freaked it out. But look! There's little green babies. How nice. As is always the case, I was sitting here being like, I don't feel so good. Like, am I sick? What's going on? Nope, Abby, you just have an interview in an hour, so you're anxious. That is literally just all that is ever happening. All right, I am at the place for the interview. I am so nervous. I'm going to just look over the job description really quick, um, refresh myself, um, and then hope for the best. I am at the school now where I work. Um, I think the interview went okay. I don't know, I have a really hard time answering questions when I'm asked questions and then I have to like think, but there's pressure to like think immediately but say it all right and then my brain just like shuts down and I don't understand what is being said. So they had the questions like next to me, which was nice. I still felt like I couldn't look at them, but they had them next to me, which was cool. Um, I think it went okay. There were a couple things that I was like super passionate about. Like they asked me about like, a crisis communication scenario. They asked me about different cultures. They asked me about a situation where there's a lot to do and I thought it was too much to do. And those answers I have in the bag. Other answers, not so sure. Not so sure. So I think it went 
all right. At the end, they were like, is there anything else that you would like us to know about you that like we didn't ask? And I was like, yeah, like, so I am leaving my current position. And so I am looking for jobs. However, I am very excited about this position. Uh, you know, I looked at your websites. I looked at, you know, when I looked at the job description, I think it would push me in some aspects because I haven't worked with like a district this big, but I'm like ready for it. And I'm very excited about it. So, I think that move was a good answer. They didn't ask me if I had questions. So I didn't ask any of my questions. That's fine. I'm gonna go inside now and, I don't know, work I guess. So after the interview, the day went downhill. Um, this person who always expects me to do everything last minute, like as soon as she needs it done, asked me to do things that are not my responsibility for graduation. No, sorry. Didn't ask me to do things that are my responsibility. Told me things that I have to do that are not my responsibility for graduation. And when I said that I was about to eat lunch and I was supposed to take pictures in a class at 1.30, she's like, oh, okay, we'll come in after that. And I was like, okay. And then I got called down like 30 minutes later to talk to the principal, my boss, because apparently she went to tell him that I was being difficult. I am astounded and appalled. I am pissed. I cried a bunch. And I am so annoyed. A, she didn't ask me to change my plans when I told her that I had things that I was supposed to be doing. B, she also didn't say, hey, are you good? Like, this is a priority. Is there anything we can do? Like, didn't talk to me at all. I'm just so upset. I was going to go to the coffee shop and write this afternoon. But I am not in the mood to write, that's for sure. And there's stuff for the graduation slideshow that I still need to do because I still don't have the information. So I'm going to have to do that tonight if I get the information, mind you. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm done. And because of all this nonsense, we got pizza. Also, I don't know if you can tell this, I have a tan. I didn't know if it was just my ponytail, but my ponytail's been off my wrist for a while now. Tan! I think I'm finally at the point in Pretty Little Liars where I stopped watching, which is weird because like, spoilers, I guess, if you need spoilers for Pretty Little Liars. I remember Mona dying. Like, I remember the flash of her in the trunk. Like, I remember that. But I don't think I remember Allie going to prison, but that happens like five episodes later. And I don't think I remember like Toby becoming like a police person or like any of this other nonsense. So I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure I don't know what's happening anymore. I forgot my friend's birthday today and I feel like the worst person in the world. This isn't the first time this has happened recently. I have always been so good about birthdays. I was always the person to like post copious amounts of things on social media, just like flowering words of love and just like making sure that I even message them at like midnight on their birthdays. In the grand scheme of things, it's probably not a big deal. But it's a big deal to me. God. The depression's getting to me, man. <laughs> I think we're gonna go into a rough patch again here soon. Not like I ever like left the rough patch, but I was doing fairly well. So, number one, we had graduation today. Number two, I posted a pride post for my job yesterday because like the school place, the sister school, the mother school that owns us, whatever they are, uh, they like sent stuff out about Pride and I thought that they had posted something. I can't find it now, of course, but I thought that they had posted something about Pride. So I was like, oh, they're posting and telling people about it. I will post because that is kind of what I take my cues off of. And then today my boss called me. I was like, hey, school board, call me in for a meeting on this post. Can you delete it? Cool. Um, number three, I did not get the job that I went interviewed for yesterday. 
At least I found out quick. I talked to the lady, basically. I uh, don't have enough experience. That's what she was saying. Um, she was super nice, though. So, that's good. Graduation went fine. Uh, everybody was super fucking loud. Like, my ears hurt. And, like, I was fending off, like, a panic attack or, like, <laughs> an autism meltdown. I don't know what the fuck I was fending off. But it was something. But I'm home now. It's, like, 8.30. I'm having a drink as well. Which is, like, I don't drink that- I've drank a more in the past month than I have in the last year, probably. Um, I'm such a lightweight now because I don't really drink that much. Not that I wasn't ever, like, not a lightweight. But, like, I'm feeling it. Also, I think I'm having an allergic reaction to something because my nose is itchy. Alright, I'm gonna go. Manifest. <laughs> the rest of it is out. Oh my god. I am going to bed. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.